It's day two of leagues. You know what that means. Relics, money, areas, uh, skills, tasks, thieving. Um, I'm in Catherby, so I guess fishing at some point. Whole lot to do. Let's do this. You know, I think we've done just about enough AFKing. We're ready to get back on the grind, but let me go ahead and show you what we've been up to just while editing and doing stuff in the background. So, as you can see here, the banker's note is fucking awesome. Th this is so cool. Really happy I picked it. But we went and chopped 200 U logs because I know that there are tasks for Fletch 100, like U, some kind of bows, and light 100 U logs. But we're not going to worry about that as of right now. And then I also chopped a whole lot of maple logs, did some forestry events that popped up. And I have to say, forestry is actually pretty cool when you're when you're a low level account. Like it definitely helps out. Obviously the experience is better, so I might just be gassing it. But even then, like when they would randomly pop up, I've gotten a thousand anima infused bark. It's really not bad. I don't have any of the other items, so it's a start. But in the meantime, we got up to 72 wood cutting. And like I said, we're gonna start things off by going for 99 thieving, which will take <laughs> literally no time at all. So from 65 to 70, it looks like our best experience option is to do Yanil Watchman. And as we all know, we just don't have to do anything, which is awesome. But yeah, it took me a little bit to find him. I had no fucking clue, uh, but we're here now. <laughs> and I figured I'd just want to talk about yesterday. It was so funny because I've never just recorded a video and did it in one day. <laughs> and I've never had obviously so many things popping up all at once. So I would be doing a task forget that there's going to be a pop-up and instantly be surprised and all I'm doing is all going is oh shit <laughs> and I'm going back and editing all the recordings and I'm like dude every single time there's a pop-up my reaction is oh shit and I need to just either cut that out or turn the audio off because it's so bad like it's embarrassing just swearing that much and then not to mention when I was trying to edit it I couldn't export my file for like three hours so i ended up re releasing the episode of like 11 30 at night but whatever going to 70 thieving then we're moving on to paladins there's 70 so let's head over to Artie. i'm pretty sure they're at and go do the paladins boy i tell you it's crazy what 20 minutes can do we just hit our first level 80 skill as level 80 thieving now we can do heroes. All right, all right, no more, no more. And we're almost up to 200K plus all these chaos runes, which I can still sell off to uh, whoever. I don't really know. There it is, nice and easy. Oh my God, I wasn't recording. I didn't realize that it was a task to pickpocket a hero. So just another one done. I think it was like, I think that said 80 points. I'm not sure. And wow, okay, I have a feeling like this drop table is gonna be pretty nice. I swear at this rate, thieving is just going to end up being my new favorite skill. Like honestly, I'm enjoying this a lot. I'm barely, I'm not doing anything. That's probably the reason why I'm literally just sitting back in my chair. But with this pickpocket, we now have level 90 thieving, our first level 90 skill giving us 200 points. Wow. And I'm pretty sure we get one at 95 and then also 99. So we're closing in on our next relic. And even though, you know, it's, it's still going to take a little bit, but like if they're both worth 200 points, that's going to put in a, like a solid dent into getting close to our fifth relic, which I believe is the treasure, treasure hunter, treasure, treasure seeker, something like that. And also the fact we're still halfway to 99, meaning we're going to double up on the GP we have, which is just awesome. God, I'm not ready to start moving around again. This has been, I've been living lavish over here. This has been nice, just a thief in the night. But with a couple more pickpockets. Don't worry, we're not done yet. We're just almost there. 95 thieving for another 200 points. We're so close to 99 that I'm considering leaving for a little bit just because uh, I wanna go get some seeds from the master farmer. And no, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna go back. Because apparently, I, I don't know if this is true, but I heard that like the seeds you get scale to your farming level, which obviously is dog shit. Like, I don't plan on staying there for a while, like for that reason. 
But what I'm thinking is I can get like a lot of uh, a lot of hop seeds so I can do birdhouse runs. I can get low level uh, farming supplies so I can start like the low level allotments, like guams, things like that. That'll just boost my farming up a little bit so that eventually when I end up coming back, it's like, oh, boom, there we go. So I'm going to go like um, maybe until I get to 1.8 mil. I really don't know, but I think I'm going to do just a tiny bit of thieving and that's where I'll finish out 99. No, I'm pretty sure this is actually a task. Oh my God, it is. And I have enough for the relic now. So it was 20 points, I'm assuming. If it'll pop up. Oh, wow. 40 points. Okay, hang on. Let's let's take a break. I also didn't realize I'd be getting that much experience. That's crazy. We have enough for our next relic, officially at 2,000 points. Yeah, there we go. That's our fourth relic. We have 2,000 points until our next one. So definitely a ways to go, but we have uh, we have some ideas. And we've done it, there is 99 Thieving. I thought it'd be a little bit more than 200 points, but you know, I really can't complain about it. Our first level 99 in leagues, I don't even think I can get the, uh, I don't even think I can get the skill cape. So we're not gonna do that, but for now we are done with our, th our Thieving grind, but I'm sure honestly we'll probably end up getting like at least 50 mil experience because there's so much to do. Like for example, I know I'm gonna need to come back to the Master Farmer for a Ran RC, I know that's a task but I don't feel like pulling a skill specs and being here for four hours, dude. I'm like, <laughs> there is just no chance of that happening. But what I have done, this is gonna look like just so scuffed, but I don't care. I've gone and just made a small word doc on things that I can do. All I was doing was scrolling through the wiki and I was like, oh, I can do that. So I split it up like area and then by skill. So I'm really just gonna go through these and kind of do what I can one at a time. It's in no order. Like, I didn't go like, oh, well, if I'm here, I should do that. So we're just going <laughs> to start running through these because we need points. Because before I do any farming, I want to get that um, that farmer's fortune relic. But that's also way far off. We want the treasure seeker and then we'll go from there. I'm being crazy. Let's just do things. Visiting the gnome stronghold for a free 10 points. And also, I'm going to go ahead and go to Trino Village real quick, because that'll be 10 more. And it is. Oh, fuck. You know what? I need to go back to the Gnome Stronghold, because I need to run on that agility course as well. And that's another easy task down. Pick a little wheat and Catherby for some points. Oh my god, and actually, I didn't know if this would be here, but go to Pearl Pearl from Gillenor is absolutely a task. I know that 100% because I didn't think I'd be able to do it. Figured out, oh, that's just all random. I can't wait to come back here. Oh, I didn't even know that was a task, but plant seeds in an allotment patch. That is also another one done. Ooh, oh my, dude, I almost did the same thing where I go, oh shit, uh, 500 total level. I know that's like so stupid for everyone else, but for me, hey, takes a little bit, don't have the combat stats. There we go. <laughs> I thought I had to do one more step, but I guess I already finished it up. That's the already easy diary done, which means not only am I going to get the cape, but I'm also going to get a lamp to put in the Slayer. Completely forgot about that. So there's the already cloak one and let's go ahead rub the antique lamp. I can't even put it in Slayer. You know what? This is going to just stay in our inventory then because I'm not wasting it. Oh, dude, I'm so dumb. I was convinced. I was like, oh, you know what I could do to get a lamp? I could do X marks the spot. I can't finish it without getting as Garnia. Oh, uh, all right. That's just uh, going in the bank for now. Oh, God damn it, dude. I wasn't recording. <laughs> it just fucking I was just talking. I did a fishing contest. I didn't realize it was a task. So a uh, little bonus there, but yeah, brought us up to 47. Easy enough, there's a raw herring. Now apparently I just need to use a herring on a tree. And yeah, okay, another task, easy enough. And you know, I forgot to do this earlier, so better time than ever to catch a Karambwanji. 
Okay, here's the deal. I want to go and get a little bit of the construction tasks out of the way. And to do so, I need to... Well, I want to do stuff that has to do with construction. So to do that, I need to be able to make a crafting table too so I can make clockworks. So I need four oak planks. I'm just going to chop one more down and then pay the money to get them into planks. Then I need steel bars to be able to make the four clockworks, but I only have 17 smithing. Regardless, I know that mining iron is on the list somewhere. So we're going to mine iron. We're going to get those planks. We're going to put it all together. We're going to build the bank on Fossil Island. You'll see it all in a second. Yeah, guess what? Change of plans. I had all of this in my bank already, so we can skip a lot of this. Ooh. Smelted iron bar, done. Here we go. Here's the POH tasks. I was going crazy yesterday because I was like, dude, I can't buy a house anywhere. I don't own it anywhere here to be able to do it. But then I realized, oh. I already got the task. I had no clue. Workshop done, and we get another task for that. Go ahead, build crafting table one to start. Upgrade it to the crafting table two. And then we can make clockworks. Holy shit, wow. <laughs> Dude, I swear, I love doing stuff like this. I feel so cool. We only need four. That's all we're going to need for, like, the entire time we play this game. And the bank is done. Here's a brief look at just why the utility for the banknote is so good. Like, don't get me wrong, my inventory is absolutely scuffed right now. But the fact, like, I don't have to move. It's just click to use and then everything is there. Like, you can, you can just stay wherever you are. And yeah, don't get me wrong, I do wish I could go to these shops and just buy whatever I wanted. But like, come on, man. What else am I going to do? And we caught an anchovy. Do you want to know how much, uh, how much stress this put me through? Because I thought that anchovy spots were their own things. I was genuinely fucking, like, fishing so many times and stopping because I was convinced, no, 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 there's no way that this is what I need. No, it was. I'm just stupid. This one is actually a throwback, though. This is like when I was, you know, 10, 11 years old back in 2007, whatever it was. This was my moneymaker. I had run over here and go do my flags thinking, you know, it was actually productive. It's not. It's not at all. I don't know how many I need. I'm just going to grab, what is this, eight? And once we combine these two, we officially have a Willow short bow. 40 points, that's, okay, all right, come on. That's excessive, we are not that broke. Ooh, that's actually really lucky, obtain a gem while mining. Dude, if I see a pop-up and go, ooh, one more time, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna scream, I'm gonna scream. Oh man, completely forgot about it. 50 iron ore complete for 40 points, which is really nice. And I've obtained bronze rank? I can claim my trophy. Yeah. Ooh, 2,500 points. This guy must know what he's doing or something. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all, I swear. All right, we need to get some coal. Fuck off, bear. There we go. We need to get some coal. There we go. 15 coal mined. Now we got to go smith it. Oh, no, no, no. I need a clean one. There we go, that's the task. <laughs> and there's another task, fill a bucket with super compost, 40 points. I know I say this every time, it's just more than I'm expecting. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm like the stupidest person in the fucking world. I went here, I was like, oh yeah, I can buy my obsidian cape. And I was like, oh, I'll just buy chaos runes to sell it back and I'll get Tokel. I literally just wasted like 70,000 Tokel. Tokel, talk, tockle, 70,000. Which was like all uh, 4,000 chaos runes, like 2,000 death runes. <sighs> and now I realize, oh, I need to go somewhere else and buy them and then sell them off. Fuck. Now, because I'm an idiot, I basically <laughs> ended up wasting one mil. And I will say this is a time where I'm thinking, oh man, I wish I could just buy items from the shop because I could have 
unlimited chaos runes. We're not worried about it. It's all going to balance out because of the fact that we get the best possible piece of fashion scape until we get into clue scrolls by getting the obsidian cape and equipping it. 80 points. 80 points for that. And honestly, it looks so cool. <laughs> like this, this is actually really sick. But yeah, I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, played a lot today. Played like another uh, six hours basically as I got off work. I mean, not as much as some other people do. I know that, but regardless, I want to edit. I'll probably have another video at 1130 at night again. Um, but yeah, there won't be a video tomorrow. Actually, uh, it's Friday. The lady is off. So we're going to go ahead and go see the new Hunger Games movie. Excited for that. But I'm hopefully going to make up for it in the next episode, which will be Saturday then, because I'm going to grind out the rest of these points, figure out a quick way to get them all done, to get the next relic, get the next area, because I really want to do something. I just need to get through a bunch of unlocks first. But again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.